All right, guys, this is Trey with Total Just Gaming again. We have one more deck profile for you. This is my Thunder Empire Dragon World deck profile. Um, my buddy is the uh, Dragon Lord, ugh, Dragon Demon Dragon Lord bots. All right, now uh, he's a seven two four size two with a pay one gauge call cost during your turn if this card is on your field or during your turn this card on your field cannot be destroyed uh words hard um all right other effect at the beginning of your attack phase for this turn this card gets double attack if you have four life or less for this turn this card gets plus three thousand power and triple attack instead <clears throat> so Guys, you guys have seen the show. You've probably seen the impact. We'll get into that later. Um, the whole purpose of this deck is to make sure that you can get three attacks in one turn. So you're hopefully either gonna have him or some other way to get you three to get you your three, even if it's a board full of ones. Because you don't even have to hit. The point is to get them to five, get them to three, and just neither one of you have a monster in the center. Um but anyways, okay, so we're going to get into this. So, first of all, we're going to go to the threes first. Oh, wait, one last thing. Chibi Panda must be in your deck. And he could not be in mine, so he will always be the guardian of my flag. Chibi Panda is the best card in the game. With his popsicle stick of doom. So, now that we've said that, now let's get into this. Um, so, the threes. We played two. Um... And I can't find a way to up it anymore, and I tried working it less, and it was just not efficient. I needed it at 2 of. So he's the Espada Dragon's Officer, Tyrarch. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He is a size 3, 7, 2, 7. The, I mean, that's, that's well-balanced stats. Pay 2 gauge, call cost, that's not that bad. This You'll find out later on that this deck has no trouble with gauge problems, and I don't like running blue shield in this deck, and that's why I don't. So, um, alright, so when this card, its ability, uh, this card cannot be destroyed by the effects of a monster. And that's during my turn, during my opponent's turn. It's just static. Um, when this card attacks, destroy all monsters in your opponent's field and deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of monsters destroyed. If you have just, if you have four life or less, destroy all cards instead of all monsters and deal damage equal to numbers. So... This deck also revolves around most of the big effects requiring you to be down low in life. So, but even the first standard, board wiping their monsters and dealing a damage for each of them, if you're playing grade one rush deck, is ridiculous. So that's, it's a good card. Um, that's our, like, one card that if we can't pull off the three attacks, we just play it over and over again just to keep the board field, or, or field management, I guess you would say. Alright, so obviously we play four copies of the buddy, uh, Demon Lord, Dragon Bots. I explained him earlier, so I'm going to show you him real quick. And, yep, scoop. There we go. Alright, um, we play two. We want to up this to three. Now, this is the um, Botsu from the Trial Deck, the Resurrected Arc Dragon Bots. Um, he's a 7-2-4. He has the same exact stats as the uh, the one from the Secret Pack, the original buddy. Um Call, call cost, pay one gauge, same with call, call cost. Uh, during your turn, this card in the field cannot be short. All right, so same same part as that. Uh, his other effect, at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have an item equipped, this card gets double attack. Then if you have four less life, destroy a monster on opponent's field. So he gets double attack if you have an item, which we only play four, and we'll show you which ones we play later, but we always have an item somehow. We have not had a game where we don't have an item. So this card is good. The fact that you can destroy a monster also is good, and we do have cards, I don't remember how many exactly, but there are a few cards that require you to have bots on the field, so... You know, I got a third one I can give you. That's hollow? Yeah. Remember, I Sweet, because Josiah was screwing me over on that, <laughs> okay, like, severely. Going. So... I didn't mean to distract. Guys, this video is going to be a hate Josiah video. Uh, not really. Um, alright, so we play that two of. We, we will up it to three, now that we actually have a third one coming to us. Alright, so we play two of this, and this is the other reason why we only play four weapon items. Um, this size two comes from Trial Deck as a two of, which means if you wanted a play set, you needed to buy two of him, two of the Trial Decks. Um, so this guy is, well, I can't read this, uh, upside down. Frontline Blacksmith, uh, 
Rectangle. That's a weird name. Alright, so this is Rectangle. Um, he's a 5-2-2. Two, two. Call cost, pay one gauge. When this card enters the field, you may equip a Thunder Empire item from your drop zone by paying its equip cost. And this card also has Pendrake. <coughs> so essentially, we have two of this. Um, we had it at four, but we need more room for better cards, so we cut it down. Essentially, with the four items, we technically have six chances to equip. So that's why I say I normally... I don't use his effect that often because normally I draw into him, but there has been a couple times where I've seen my gauge off the first couple, even though I had an item in hand. There's normally always an item in the first two gauge. I don't know how it happens. Um, it just the, the test plays that I did yesterday after building this deck, it seemed to have happened that way. So we'll test play it further to see how it works. But right now, this is good. I mean, he has penetrate. That's what makes him really worth it. And the item thing, if it comes into handy, it comes in handy. If not... It, oh well, the main course is penetrate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we play. Th All right, so we're moving to size ones. We're done with size twos for right now. Um, we're done with size twos. Period. We play three. Uh, misfiring demon globes. All right. Which, honestly, this is the finger detonating drunk of the deck. Um. So he's a size one, three one one. Stats are not the best, but um, you don't play him for the stats. You play him purely for his abilities. So, uh, first effect, Spirit, split the reward. When another Thunder Empire monster enters your field, put the top card of your deck in your gauge, and you draw a card. It only activates once per turn. <coughs> this, um, th that, that makes this card stupid. And then the other effect is just even ridiculous. Um, so when this card attacks, doesn't have to hit, just when it attacks. For the turn, a card on your field gets one crit. So, say I have, just real quick, say I have him and Bots on the field. If I swing with him first, Bots is now crit three. If I have four less life, Bots is a 10,000 crit three with triple attack. That's too good not to pass up. Um, you have to at least have three of this card in your deck, otherwise you're not playing this card correctly. Because you will, you need to make sure that you get at least two of them every game. So, um, <coughs> let's move on real quick. We play uh, three of this. This guy, um, Skirmisher, Wielder, Carve. Uh, so he's a one, two, one, size one. Uh, when this card is, when this card is destroyed, put top card deck in your gauge and you gain a life. And then he has the move ability. So. If he's in hand first, very first turn game, obviously you want to drop him because there's no down effect. He's crit two, you swing your opponent either shields or they take it, and then you just plus if they kill it. So, uh, there's not much to say about that, it just pluses. Every, like I said, most of our small monsters gain us gauge, so we have no gauge problems in this deck. Um, so we play three copies of the Raid Officer Delta. He's a 6-1-1 size 1 monster. When this card attacks, if you have another Thunder Empire on your field, put top card deck in the gauge. Um, like I said, no gauge problems. This card's really good. It's a beat stick. It's got 6,000 power. It's great. Um, Just for today. Now we play four of our little penguin. We love our penguin. The penguin is the best card in the deck, and <laughs> other than the buddy. Um, Replenisher Penitur. Uh, he's a 3-2-1, size 1. Um, when this card enters the field, if you have a Thunder Empire item equipped, draw a card. This is not once per turn, so as long as you have it equipped, you can call three of them and draw three cards for all I care. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Neg one. Uh, it doesn't really neg one, it just spaces out. It calls you board, and you get to plus, you get to draw, so it just kind of evens out everything. It keeps your hand steady. All right, so we play this as a two of. This is a size one, uh, four, three, one. Um, when this card attacks, if you do not have a Thunder Empire item equipped, you take a damage. It has to have a down effect because it's a size one with crit three and actual halfway decent stats. And even though this is a th Thunder Empire deck profile, honestly, guys, I would suggest you put this in a fifth Omni deck as like maybe a one or two of because it's 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 actually really good because it says you do take a damage, and that's what the whole fifth Omni thing's about on that too. So, yay, we got a third one, so we'll make a cut later for it. 
we'll probably cut out this card I'm gonna show you here in a minute oh, all together um all right so real quick we play this as a two of this is the tactician cron he's a three one one or three one three size one sorry guys um <clears throat> he cannot be called to the center in a perfect world of rushing them with only ones with bots on the field and this uh, we call them both of them over here and the reason why is um he can't be called center so all thunder empires on your field get plus one crit this is this monster it works on him they stack and it works on your items too so why not just play them i mean that's that's really good it just it increases your crits makes your opponent have to rethink how the turn's going to go they can't take everything so they got to play around it a little bit um we'll play this as a one of mainly because we got it as a reverse hollow and we needed another monster so this is probably the card we're going to cut for the other bots that we just got from joe but we'll go ahead and leave this in the video for right now um he's a five one four i mean he, he's pretty decent he's a size one uh call cost pay one gauge this card cannot attack the left or right but he has double attack so he's a size one that has double attack with five thousand power that's that's actually pretty good I mean, honestly, this will still be the card that we cut for the other size, too. Unless I can think of anything that sucks worse than this. Because I already cut the panda. And the panda is the shit. But, oh well. Um, Alright, so that's it for the monsters. So we're going to move on to the items real quick. We play... Well, if I can not drop everything. We play four copies of the Ark Dragon Sword. It's a six with two crit. <clears throat> Pay one gauge, equip cost. This card on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, honestly, the only downfall to this card is the fact that Magic World can bounce items. And maybe Hero World, I can't remember. There might be a Hero World spell that bounces items. Um, so this card is just ridiculous. Um, and then, uh, on top of that, let's see, all Thunder Empire monsters on your field get plus 2,000 power. So it makes all our little crappy size ones that have really low stats the threes the fours become sixes and fives so it makes it makes the size ones with the really good effects have the power to put back it up with so i mean it's really good um i i just i love this sword um anyway so we'll move on we'll go to shields real quick um this is the arc dragon shield I'll explain this one real quick. So, um, you only cast this card if, during your opponent's attack, and if you do not have a monster in the center, and you have a Thunder Empire. So, uh, uh, there. Well, there it is. There it is. It's in the picture now. Yay. Uh, cast cost, pay one gauge. Uh, counter, nullify the attack, and draw a card. So, basically, this costs you a gauge to swap this card to your drop zone and get a new one and just stop shit all right so we play that a four of because you need to and then we play four green dragon shields uh guys if you don't know what green dragon shields do i'm sorry goodbye um i'm not explaining that you guys should know what this does by now uh all right so we play four of this card um this is the uh bots x link um this is the best spell in the deck and in I don't know what's coming out in next set, but it's probably better than any of the spells coming out in next set, too. But, um, alright, so, we only cast this card if you have attacked three times or more this turn. Link attacks do count as one attack, guys, so make sure that you, you do pay attention to that. Link attacks do not count. It does not say for each monster attack, it says for each individual attack. So, if you can multi-link multi attack a lot, then you'll be fine. But otherwise, uh, you have to do three attacks. Uh, counter, look at three cards from top of your deck. Put one of them into your hand, put the other two into the gauge, and then you gain a life. Um, you can only cast it once per turn. Yeah, it's my flag, man. Oh, okay. It's the shit. I, could, I took it out of the deck. I had to have it in the deck somehow. I couldn't keep it yeah, in. It was my one of them. How many secret packs did you get yesterday, Troy? Oh, okay, guys. So, Fuller is still salty about this. We opened boxes yesterday. I'm going to stop this video for like two seconds to say this. I ended up with a total of 10 secret packs for Batsu and two extra buddy rares on top of that. So, I have an overabundance of extra stuff. I got rid of some of it yesterday because I wanted another deck back that was old and stuff. But, oh, um, this, uh, all right. So, like, the reason why we got this is because as a group, 
for the channel, we want to make sure that we provide good decks for you guys and complete decks. So we, if you could get a group together, we card pool. So like we all go in and we tell each other like, all right, so I'm going in for this. We buy a certain amount of boxes. I think. I I I told you like uh, okay so like as a total group yesterday I think and they shorted us by one because we literally bought out the distributor that was near us they shorted us a box so it's coming next week I believe um <clears throat> yesterday we had a total of like what, what we have yesterday Michael twenty three boxes Joe what we have like twenty three boxes yesterday. So out of 23 boxes, I got the 10 packs and the two buddy rares. And I, only got I did not get an SP, which kind of upsets me. So if you guys have an SP and you it's for trade, message Joe on the channel uh, and we will, me under the we will work we something out. God awful. You're right, I did, but I want this I SP. I, one. It's it's <laughs> I, I want this SP. So, um, because the SP is the only one with the different artwork, and that's why I mainly want it. But um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna finish out this video real quick. Do not right. message me for this. Message <laughs> Joe about this. If you have the SP and you're willing to get rid of it, we will work something out. No, all right, so you won't, but you're gonna mess. You're gonna tell him what I said. You're gonna you're gonna do it. You you brought. There's this no time stamp in this. It won't count. <laughs> Today's date is April twenty second. The time, I don't know. We're about to look. All right, you see this? It says 1624. That means it's 424. Guys, if you get this, I need I need that SP. I am ridiculous about that. I really want that SP. Um, all right, so we're back in this. Uh, this spell card, we play it as a one of right now. We haven't found room for more than one. If we could, we might, because this card is actually pretty decent. Um, okay, so you might only cast this card. If there is a monster with bots in its name on your field, um, cast cost, pay one gauge. For this turn, Thunder Empire monsters on your field get plus one crit. That's all the monsters. And then, um, if you have five or less life, uh, you get to draw a card. You can only cast one once per turn. So, I mean, pay a gauge, you get to, if you're at the five or less life, which normally with this deck you are, you try to take life early. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes I may not, because... I don't like relying on the impact. I'd like to not have to rely on the impacts. But so, if if I'm at five or less life, this card is just spectacular uh, all around. Um, the other one of for the deck, and it's our last spell, is the irregular attack. Um, you only cast this card if you have attacked three times. If cards on your field have attacked three times, uh, again, link attacks only count as one, guys. Remember that, please. Uh, counter destroy all monsters on your opponent's field, and. Uh, put and let's see hold on and put the the number of car uh, put the top cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of monsters you destroyed into your gauge um I said that backwards you guys can you guys can figure it out um this card is good because it is our counter spell so say we're going up against an annoying deck like I'll just throw Dieva under the bus at this point you guys will see the deck video uh, it'll probably post about the same time as this deck, probably before. Uh, do you have a focus is on the center for the first part of the game, obviously, because you don't want to go super below it. Um, anything that focuses on the center, so you just do multiple attacks. If you can't get over it, you board wipe them with this, gain the gauge, and then, I mean, it gains you gauge, so that's, that's like, really good. And then that's before the final phase, so it just, you can just go ham after that. Alright, so the last card of the deck... We play four of the, uh, we'll, we'll put it like this, uh, the Thunder Lance X Tempest Buster. This is the one from the secret pack. It also, I believe, came as a rare. Um, you may only cast this card if your opponent's life is five or less. You have attacked three times during this turn, and you nor your opponent have monsters in the center. Link attacks count as one attack, always. It says this stuff on the card to remind you guys. Um, this card is... Okay, so pay three gauge for the cast cost. Deal five damage. This card cannot be nullified. Let's see, this card cannot... Uh, I'm reading upside down this card. Cannot be nullified. The damage cannot be reduced. If your opponent would go to zero, life would go to zero, 
It cannot be changed by your opponent's card effects. Unrevivable. So unrevivable. Uh, you've probably heard it in other videos that we've put, that we're gonna post. Um, if not, this is the first time you're hearing it, fine. Unrevivable means you cannot play cards that would say if you would become zero, you do this, this, and this. So anything like there's the purgatory spell that says if you would become zero, destroy the spell, mill the top card. If it's a spell card, you gain two life, um, or you your life goes to two. Um, the Dragon Dry Flag. This card and the impact from Prism Dragons, that's the new uh, Star Dragon World Clan archetype, uh, it, it it's completely shuts down Dragon Dry. Um, if you got somebody that's playing the old school adventures and they're playing the, uh, what was that, Glory Seeker mm -hmm. equipment that says if you become zero you can just ditch it and stay at one. It stops that too. Um, people say this card's broken. This card is super specific. Now, yes, you can fulfill the attack three times in one turn fairly easy. Your opponent being at five life or less, I mean, that's, that's I guess, easy. But you also have to keep the center open on your field and theirs, and that's yeah, just stupid. All right. To the door. But, um, guys, so the, the goal, the goal of this deck, so attack three quick. times if you have the impact blow them out the water but other than that you guys this guy is this deck is just a ham deck all you do is just go in all right so um that is the end of this deck video and remember chibi panda is life goodbye